to my video. I'm here. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to comb my hair, so you know what I did on a wig. Bam. I'm going to do a orange and red look. We're going to see how that turns out. Okay. So, stay tuned. One eye. I'm using the Festival Palette by Julia's Place. And I'll show you what colors I'm using. This is the palette. Okay. And I'm going to use, I'm using Izafa here. And Ophala here, the orange. Then I'm using Mamenwu, Mamenwu. And I've used some uh, Oro. Oh, and I also use Eerie G. So this, 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 this U shape. Those are the colors I'm using, okay? So I start with Ozafa, putting in the crease, just dabbing it on. Just laying that color down. Hope you guys are having a great day. My day is good. I'm playing in makeup and that's always good. Huh. So far I've had a productive day. I've had breakfast. That's it. That's all I really need. Now I'm going to go in with uh, Ophala. That orange. I was talking about and I just placed that right above it just place it right above it that's all I did then I go in with Mamawu that lighter orange there and I place that at the top The top of Ophala. That's how I did that. Then I take a blending brush I had and I just go ahead and blend all those colors. Try to blend on the outside to break up that. That red to break up, what was that? Azafa. Break up Azafa in the corner. I have to keep looking, guys. Sorry. And that's all I do. Then I go back in with Azafa and I pat it in more. Because you always want that crease to be deep. Well, at least I do. I don't know about anybody else. And I just take what's left over off that brush and I just go forward with it. Now, I did something. I also took um, Aura and I placed Aura right at the top. Like that, like so. I took Aura and placed Aura at the top, like so. And then I have a brush. I just kind of do that with it. See that? And then I took a Fiji. I think that's it because I can't see pink color. I took that. Which side did I do that on? On this side. And I placed that right there. Why did I use pink? I don't know. It was there. So I just placed that right there. I did. I did it just like that. Take this red up here. Yeah. And then I went and I took the red on top of that and put that on top of the pink. And I promise you, 
This is just trial and error. That's all I'm doing. Nothing major. Okay, then I went in with my glitter glue and I just dabbed it on there like that. Oh, I got it on my eyelashes. I didn't do that though. Dab the glitter glue on. And the glitter glue I am using is Hard Candy Popping Glitter Stay. That's what I'm using. And I just popped it on there. And then I'm using the Ruby May Cosmetics, the glitter. Okay. And I'm using this red. Okay. That's what I'm using. I just take it, put it on my brush like so. And just pat it on. I have used this glitter without glitter glue, but I tend to like the glitter glue. I just popped it on like that, nothing major. Touch up this eye over here. You know me. You know? Okay, that's all I did with that. All right, and it came out like that. Now I'm gonna pop my lashes on off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. I've already moisturized my face. I, this is my first time using this e.l.f. Primer. That's a big old bump. Ooh, that feels nice. Nice and smooth. Wow, feels really good, nice and smooth. My skin's been terrible here lately. Got all these bumps that I look big one right there. They don't want to seem to go away. Yeah, that e.l.f. primer feels good. Hmm. Okay, first we're going to go in with Fenty Beauty Concealer 400. And we're just going to put that under there. I don't use a lot. I'm about to be out of this, but I'm trying to use it to the very end. Okay. So I'm going to see I'm about to be out. And then we're going to take Fenty Beauty. 350. I'm gonna call it 350 and put that right in the inside there. A little bit up there. I'll put this on my nose. On the chest. All I'm gonna do is mix that. That's on the inside. Alright. We're also gonna use Fenty Beauty Espresso. I don't know if I have it right side up. Espresso. For my contour, and I'm putting everything on at once. You use less that way. I found out. Okay. I'm gonna put paint pot on by Mac Groundwork. I don't know if I'm showing it right. I put that in my smile lines because. It helps with the creasing. So, and that's where my makeup likes to settle at. Therefore, I put it right there. And I fan to let that dry. Okay, what foundation am I going to use today? All right, let's try this one Il Maquillage. Everyone talks about this. I like it, it works for me. I have it in the color one ninety five. Il maquillage. 
in the color 195. And a lot of people say they don't like it. A lot of people say they do like it. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand. That's what it looks like, the color. And then I'm just going to dab it with my finger on my face. And just dab it on there. Dab it in places. Girl, don't mess up that brow. I think I did. I'll fix it later. Okay. And then I just go in and I pat it in. All over my face. Do I worry about mixing makeup? Not really because it's going to mix anyway. You know, gonna mix anyway, so I don't really worry about it. And I'm the type of person that will use the same brush on everything. A lot of people are sticklers about using different brushes. I use the same brush because. It's gonna, I want it all to blend in anyway. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want it to look like I got on 15 different products. So, pull it down. I want it to blend in. So, just. Bring it down. <laughs> I don't know why I always want to talk when I'm doing this. Then I be sounding all shaky voice and stuff. See, you can't even see I had the groundwork on. Yeah. At least I can't. Then I take my foundation brush and go in between my brows. So I don't want that unibrow. Okay. And that's a uh, B Mall face round brush that I'm using. That's from Amazon. A gift from one from my youngest son. Um take Janet. Okay, now I'm going to use the MAC Dark Deep for my nose. That's what it looks like. That's what I contour my nose with. Every time I do makeup, my nose starts to run. I don't know why, but... That's what happens. Yeah, this is what I come to my nose with. All right. Then I'm going to use Infallible by L'Oreal 500 Beige. And that's what I use to set my under eye with. I use a powder puff. And I just go in and I set that. So I'm gonna take it around the top. Anywhere that I had the concealer at that's what I'm going to say. Take it down my nose. The bridge of my nose. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your day to come over here. And watch me do this. I know I'm going to have to go back over my nose again because 
I just took that whole crunch one out around the corner. All right. Then I used the Deep by MAC. And that I used to go underneath to try to make it look like I have a neck. <laughs> Contour around there. I mean, I have a neck, but you know. Try to gain a little poundage. So, try to make myself look decent. Then I go in with Mocha Mommy Fenty Beauty. I can't ever get this right, guys. Fenty Beauty. Mocha Mommy. And I like to use the same brush. I just dab it off with a top. And go in to my where I had that contour at. I don't put it underneath my neck area because you know it's a little reddish tint on there. All right, I go in with, um, I'll take some face powder so I can do my under eye using CoverGirl Clean Professional Translucent Powder. And what I do, I just take a Morphe brush because I'm going to go underneath and do my highlight color. I just dab it underneath my eye for that fallout. Now I'm gonna use those colors I used: red and orange. From let's just start with the orange, and I'll just pat that underneath. My allergies are acting up. Eyes are already starting to water. I definitely don't want that with makeup. Okay. And then I'll just go back in. Pick up some of that red. And go underneath. Swoop it under there. You know, then I just brush away that powder and it'll take away any of that fallout that was under there. Ooh. Okay, I need to do. My highlights on my blush. Same Morphe brush. I'm gonna use, of course, Zara. It's my favorite. You know what? Let me try Lila. Cause I never use that. Let's do Lila today. And then I wipe my little brush off again because I'm going to use the same one for my blush. Let's do Tabby. We're going to do Tabby. Cute. Now we're going to use uh, my Laura Mercier in medium deep. Translucent in medium deep. That's what I'm going to set the rest of my face with and I'm going to use this big fluffy Morphe brush. I just tap a little bit out like so. Swirl my brush in it. And then just push it into my skin like that.
And I just push it into my skin and that's it. Set all my areas. I mean, I kind of go over all my hair. Because that's how... This is how I blend all my makeup in. To make it look like one. We're going to go into this Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Highlighters. We're going to pick up that orange right there. With Heartburn. We're going to pick up Heartburn. Okay? See what Heartburn will do. Okay, that's what Heartburn looks like. Let's get some Stone Cold. Let's put some Stone Cold in there. That's the middle one. See what that'll do. Okay. All right. Now, guys, we're going to use this ColourPop Cream Liner in orange. We're going to put that on that waterline. During this time, I was trying to use ColourPop Orange, and it wasn't coming out, so I tried something else. Let's see something. Let's see if this works. Well, we're just going to leave that alone. Okay, this white liner that I used in my waterline is by MAC Fascinating. That's what I used in my waterline to try to help induce that uh, color pop orange. Now we're going to just put on this mascara on these bottom lashes. And try to pull this look together. And I'm using the MAC Giga Black Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. I'll show you container. That's what it looks like. That mascara. Okay. Now I'm going to spray my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte setting spray to set all this work in. I like spraying a lot of that because it feels good. I'm going to do my lips now. And I'm using the MAC Chestnut Pencil. Lip, play, lip Blaze Color. Ugh. Lip Blaze Color by Lime Crying. What is wrong with me? Is Rosemary. And then this is White Cherry, the lip gloss by Lime Crying. I really like this little bit. Okay, now I'm going to put this gloss on top. White Cherry. Gloss on top. All right, guys. the final look i hope you enjoyed this video there you go please make sure you like share comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when i come on again with a new video okay thank you guys for stopping by enjoy your day love you babies bye